Hi guys, it's me, Jesse, and welcome back to the Tiny Treehouse. And if you like Blippi, you're going to absolutely love today's episode, because we are doing a sink or float dinosaur edition. But make sure to stay till the very, very end to see a huge, ginormous dinosaur extravaganza. So, let's go discover what sinks or floats. So guys, first off, we're going to start with household objects. So down here, I've got a bunch of different random items that you can find just around your house lying around. So, the first thing I've got is a whisk for some cooking. Let's see if this can sink or if it will float. Here we go. Oh no, what a surprise, it's sunk. Next up, we have a water bottle. Let's see if this one will sink or if it will float. Here we go. What a surprise, it floats. So guys, the reason why this bottle floated was because it's filled with air. Things filled with air will tend to float and things not filled with air will tend to sink. So, if I take the lid off and fill it up with water and get rid of all the air, watch what happens to the bottle. It will eventually, slowly but surely, sink right down to the very bottom. Right, next up guys, we have rubber bands. Luckily, I've got another one right over here. Let's see if it sinks or floats. Oh, slowly it's sinking. Next up, we have a cork. And if you remember, in one of our previous videos, we made boats and we actually used corks to make them float. So, that might have gave it away, but let's see if this one sinks or floats. What a surprise, it floats. And the reason it floats is because it has loads of tiny little pockets of air trapped inside of it. And that being said, the next thing up is a lollipop stick. Let's see if it sinks or floats. Here we go. Let's drop it from a height. Whoop. Oh, whoa, it sunk and then it floats back up to the top. And next up, we have a glass beaker. We use these things in our science experiment videos. Now, this could go one of two ways. Because it's got a hole in, if it floats this way, it could float. But if it, if it floats this way, then it could sink because water could get inside. So let's see. Let's try this way. Oh, it's going to... Okay, it's, it's, it's floating, but it looks like it's filling up with water. Oh, I think it'll sink. Oh, it's a, it's a slow sinker, but it's definitely a sinker. Oh, oh, wait, it's, it's tipped and it's not, it's half sinking and it's half floating. And that is because it's half filled with water. So it's got half air and half no air. And next up, we have a cotton bud. Let's see if this will sink or if it'll float. Here we go. Oh, it's floating. I think, yes. Yeah, Definitely a floater. And next up is a rubber. Do you guys think this will sink or will it float? Let me know in the comments down below. Here we go. Oh, that sunk straight away. And last of the household objects is a sponge. SpongeBob SquarePants. It's almost like the same color of my t-shirt. But this could go one of, two, one of two ways because it's a sponge, so it's got lots of air in it, so it could float. But because sponges are made to absorb water, it can get rid of all the air and then it can eventually sink. So let's see what happens to the sponge. Let's drop it this way. Okay, so it's floating for now. Maybe if we give it a little squeeze and let it absorb the water, see what happens when we squeeze the sponge and see what happens when it absorbs it all. Whoa, it's still floating! So I thought that would have sunk because I've squeezed it so much. I thought it would have squeezed all the air out of it so there was no air left. But you know what? Science can be so crazy. And next up, guys, we have a blue and an orange paint. Hmm, blue and orange. Who does that remind you of? I wonder. Okay, let's see if they sink or float. Let's go with blue first. It sunk and now it's floating. And I think the orange paint will do the exact same. But let's see. Who knows what can happen in the tiny treehouse. Let's drop it. Oh, it's sunk, and it floated back up to the top again. Exactly what I thought. It is our Australian friend, Bluey. Let's see if she sinks or floats. Here we go. Oh, she floats because she's full of air. But after a while, when she absorbs all of the water and there's no air left in her, she might sink. We'll have to see. Okay, time for a rough, rough rescue. Next up is Marshall. And... He has his scuba diver gear on, so he should be okay if he sinks or if he floats. Let's see what he does. Oh, what's... Oh, to be fair, I thought he was actually going to sink because he's quite a heavy object. But because uh, he's plastic, he might have air trapped in the inside of him. But if he does sink, he'll be fine because he's got his scuba diver gear on. 
And next up, we have a toy called a crybaby. Let's see if she sinks or floats, but this crybaby has little holes in her, so she might actually sink if we squeeze her after a while. Let's see, here we go. Okay, as I suspected, she's floating, but let's squeeze her and see if she can fill up with water and see if she sinks. Oh, slowly but surely, she's a, she's a slow one. So, as you can see, she is definitely a floater, but make sure to keep an eye on all of our objects to see if any of them sink later on in the video. And next up, we have a fire engine. Nino, Nino, Nino. Well, I'll tell you what, he won't be short of water where he's going. Let's see if he sinks or floats. Doom. Oh, yep, he sunk, but at least he's got plenty of water to put out all them fires in the future. Next up, we have... Superman, let's see if he sinks or floats. Oh, he floated. And next up, we have a long dog. And if you guys are a big fan of Bluey, you'll know that in every single episode, there's a long dog hidden about in random places. And that's exactly what we do here in Tiny Treehouse TV. So if you go back and watch all our previous episodes and you see a long dog hidden about somewhere, make sure to comment down below and tell us whereabouts you saw it. And make sure to keep your eyes peeled in future videos because we'll be hiding the long dog about in other random places too. So now let's go and see if he sinks or floats. Here we go. Place him in there. Oh, that's a surprise. I was actually expecting him to sink. But to my surprise, he's actually a floater. Okay, long dog, you chill there for a while while I see if other things sink or float. And I found some blue and orange glitter. So let's see if it sinks or floats. Here we go. Whoa! Oh, it actually floats. Okay, let's mix it up with the whisk, but we're gonna use this grabber, and these are actually really important because these pick up litter from all places around the world. So make sure you don't litter and be a good member of society. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go, here's the whisk. Now let's whisk up all the glitter. Give it a good mix. Oh, some of it's sinking and some of it's still floating. Wow, this is a cool glittery water effect. Whoa, look how sparkly the water is. Now let's drop the whisk back in. Bloop. There we go. Next up, we have an LOL surprise doll. Let's see if she sinks or floats. And I wonder what she looks like with all this glitter in her hair. Let's see. Here we go. Oh, she's floating, but she's got really sparkly hair now, so that's a bonus. Oh, no, I've run out of toys. But I promise you guys a dinosaur extravaganza. I wonder. Uh, Squeaks, if you took my dinosaur toys. You have. Can I have them, please? Why not? Do you want to see the dinosaurs sink in all the floats in the tank? Please, Squeaks, come on. It'll be fun. Thanks, Squeaks. Okay, let's see if this dinosaur sinks or floats. Here we go. Oh, he's floating. No, he's sinking. Oh, no, he sunk. Don't worry, dinosaur. I'll help you out. Should we get another one? Oh. Wow, this is a cool one. This is of a Jurassic World where he rolls, but he stays its perfectly in the middle. Let's see if he can sink or float. Let's roll him in. Oh, no, he, he floated. Just quickly, dunk down to save your dinosaur friend. Oh, no, he just bounces back up. Oh, it's just a snake. Oh, no, he's on the loose. Here we go, let's get him. Oh, oh no, a snake. Let me see if he sinks or floats. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, he sunk, he sunk, he sunk. That's okay. Ah, you can't get me now, silly snake. Oh, no, what's this? A random action, man. Okay, let's see if you can sink or float. Dive in to help the snake. Oh, he's sinking. He's helping the snake. Whoa, what's this? Whoa, a cool shark thing. Monster. Let's see if you can sink or float. Oh, he floats too. Oh, there's another dinosaur. I'm getting attacked by dinosaurs. Does this dinosaur sink or float? He's a baby dinosaur, so he goes. There we go. Oh, he's floating. Oh, no, there's another dinosaur, too. Whoa. Oh, he's a floater. And there's another dinosaur. Oh, he's going to attack me. Get back in that water. Oh, he's a floater, too. Okay, is there any more dinosaurs coming? Any more anywhere? No. Oh, there he is. Whoa, he's, whoa, he's going to attack me. Get in that water. Oh, he's a floater, too. Whew. That was absolutely exhausting. Oh, and some foam, too. Here we go. Take this, dinosaurs. Here we go. Well guys, what a video. That's been one heck of a ride. There's been lots of sinkers and there's been lots of floaters. Lots going on in this video. But we've still got one T-Rex left. I wonder, oh, what's he saying? Oh, he wants to eat them, okay. Oh no, he's driving in the tank. Oh, he's in there now too. 
Oh no, is he sinking or floating? Oh, he's a sinker. No, he's a floater, he's floating too. See you later everyone, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you've liked it, make sure to give a big thumbs up and subscribe. Bye bye everyone. Oh no.